G'day guys, my name is What If Dog, and welcome to a game called Scanner Sombre. This is a cave exploration game with a terrifying theme and stunning visuals, according to Introvision Software, the creators of this game as well as other well-known games, such as Prison Architect. And that's it. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, this is um, a really interesting looking game, actually. If you can see, so it's sort of like you start, you don't have any idea where you are or what the environment is. <clears throat> and as you start going, you have to scan the walls and sort of make the environment for yourself. Then you can actually figure out where you are. Looks really cool. So we're going to get started here. We're going to go new game. Oh. Black. Did it crash? No. I think we're good. We got some sort of clock thing going. Okay. We're in uh, some sort of tent. Can I open up any of these bags? Come on. No, we've got a picture there. Can I crouch and have a look at it? No. Okay. Let's uh, step out into the darkness here. Do I have to walk over to this thing? And this is a VR. Okay, so this is meant to be a VR game. Clearly, guys. I don't have a VR headset though, so I'm just playing it in regular sort of regular vision. Prior prototype installed in scanner. Hold left mouse button to fire scanner. Okay, so we've got trees, or are they stalactites? Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff here. Right, so you can see the the tent was um, set up in some sort of cave some reason. I don't know why. You can see we've got stalagmites and stalactites and all kinds of stuff around. Got blue stuff. So I guess it turns blue when you're further away from it. Okay, we've got some sort of cross there. That's a bit weird. What's up there? Nothing? Okay. Just keep on going. So, we seem to be in some sort of big cavernous cave system. Is what I can see. Oh, okay, so you can see the caves that you've been from through the walls. So, I suppose it'd be good not to have these things too dense. So, you can sort of go up around the back here. And where does this take us? Oops. I think I've gone into like a little passageway there, and I've come back out <coughs> in this cave. Okay, so there's like a little passageway here you can go in. Right. So, aim of this game? No idea. So I guess we'll find out the aim of what you're meant to be doing as, as we play, I guess. I think this is the way I'm going, because I did get a bit turned around there. I want to just keep making sure that I can clearly see where I'm going. Otherwise, I will get lost, and that will not be good. Is it down the back there? Is that where I'm going? No. Okay. Um, it's interesting. This game is very different to Prison Architect, and it's made by the same people, so it just goes to show. They really didn't want to get pigeonholed into making 2D, like, building, building tycoons, I guess. Have you guys seen Sim Airport? The Sim Airport was also made by Intravision, or not made by Intravision Software, but it looks very similar to Prison Architect, because a lot of the artists from Intravision actually worked on that, or didn't work on it, but helped the creators of that game with their styling. 
Can I fit through that gap? I can. Okay, so we found ourselves into a much smaller cave now. So I think what's happening is we're in a cave, it's pitch black, and we don't have any form of light. And we've got a VR goggle to sort of illuminate where we are. Nobody has been as deep as this for thousands of years. Okay. I was volun I was utterly alone. No one would help. No one would ever I oh, missed that, god damn it. Ah My friends all told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand my obsession. But I had to know if the myths were true. Oh. Okay. What myth? Alright, so we've got... It's opening back up into a bit of a bigger cave now. Ooh, much bigger. Sort of like a big cavern area. Just scan everything so that we get a good idea of where we are. I want to keep the ground scanned pretty well so that I don't fall into like a hole or something. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like we can go up here this way. Look at this place. This is actually a really interesting style for a game. Okay, so we've sort of come through the cavern back down here and I think there's really only one way to go from here. So this is all like rocks and stuff. This is all spiky. So you can go in here but I don't think you can get very far. No, so you can't get very far in there. Oh, that's water there apparently. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we have to head back up here. I think this is the only way we can go back up here. And I don't know if this cave is the same thing every time or if it's procedurally generated. And I'm not sure if this is like a storyline or if it's more like slender sort of thing. I don't really know. Maybe it's not even a horror game. And that's what I got from it saying it has a terrifying theme, but... I don't know. I suppose you can have a scary theme without it actually being a scary game. Right, is this where we're going? Up here? Yep. Let me scan all this. Up here we go. I'm just going to keep my thing going like this so that I can get a good idea of where I am. Oop, it's opening back up again. Oh, What is that? I thought you said no one had been down here for thousands of years. Oh, so it's like automatic scanning things now. So this is scanning the whole cabin here for me, pretty much. That is clearly a man-made bridge. What the actual shit is going on? Oh god. What is that? Is this the entrance to it over here? Oop, there's like a beeping thing somewhere. What's beeping? That's beeping, what is that? Prototype installed. Aperture control. Use mouse wheel or QE to change aperture. Okay, so you can do like a more defined spot. Could this place have been even older than the legend suggests? Well, I don't know what it is, mate. Okay, so you can do like a really, really wide one. You see that? How wide can you go? Like really wide. Right. They can see how wide that is. 
and you can bring it right down. Huh. They'll keep it fairly wide, but also sort of outgoing in the right direction, sort of like that. Anyway, I think we're meant to take this man-made bridge in a thousand-year-old cave. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. Actually, it might be. This might be Jesus Christ. Who knows? Okay, this is um, a bit worrying. Okay. So we're now entering into um, fairly creepy inhabited thousand year old cave. Great. Ooh, that's water. Alright. Just going to try and keep the whole thing illuminated with this kind of one. We're just going to walk along here. These look like... What the fu- Who are you? Oh god, is it like a weeping angel? Please don't tell me he gets closer if I look away. I don't think he's following me, so that's alright. Okay, so he can't go that way. That is really spooked me, actually. Keep going up this tiny little cave. She'll open this up a bit so you can see where we're going. Um, yeah, I really don't like scary things, guys, so... This is not good for me. <laughs> it might get to a point here where I just have to stop and then you guys will call me a pussy, but... Yeah, I can deal with that. Oh, God. So we're now... metaphorically and literally in too deep. Oh god. This is um Oh there's gonna be something here isn't there? It's opening up into a big room. Use a guide. Use R, M, B, or Z to zoom. Okay, that's a bridge. And what's on the other side? A whole bunch of... There's a whole bunch of bridges. Okay. That's weird. At least I think there's a whole bunch of bridges. Yep, there's another one. Sort of goes that way. And there's one that looks like it's hanging down from the roof that's all broken. There's another one down there. Okay, so I think... How deep is this shit? Oh, that's incredibly deep. Okay, so there's another bridge just here. I keep looking behind me, I expect someone to be there. 
There's another bridge here. I think we take this bridge. Okay. I think we take this bridge and go this way. Oh, Jesus. I don't like this. I don't like this. La 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 la. I'm somewhere I'm not. All I can say is, good thing I'm playing this at daytime and wore my brown undies today. I don't think we can get any further going this way. What is that? The f frig is that? There's a bunch of them. Okay. Um. They sort of lead down here and then you can't go anywhere from here, so I'm going to leave this one very quickly, or unless you go up this way. Ah, I think you do. These are like proper stairs. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, big gap. Am I meant to drop down onto that bridge? No, because you'll never make that one. Can you sort of walk on his side bits? No, okay. Am I meant to drop down onto this bridge? Yeah, it won't make it that way. So, I think now I have to drop down onto this bridge. Um... What? Okay, this is weird. I'm getting out of here. Run. Run. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. They never did iron out all those glitches. Okay, I'm sure it's a glitch. Yep, yep, yep. I believe you, mate. Sometimes you you see sensor echoes from days earlier. Calibrations turned to ghosts. But even so, I could never explain anything I saw. Going up this little corridor here. Where are we going? Oh god. Oh j Jesus Christ. What is this? What is that? Okay, so there's like a massive great ravine here. Is there a way around it? What was that? What was that? Oh my god. Do I have to skirt around this tiny little lip here? Oh god. You know what? All you cave exploration people, you can keep that job because... Okay, no, you know what, you know what, no, no, 
no, no, no. I have had enough. I have had enough. G'day editing what if dog here. Uh, when I was recording this, I've just been a bit of a pussy. Uh, after playing this, I decided to go back and make a part two, so that'll be out next week. But yeah, stay tuned for more. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for a new video every week. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>